Hi guys, today it's eventually happened, Boris has overstepped the mark and the Speaker has sided with the opposition. This is a really interesting one today, because he clearly oversteps the mark at the beginning. He doesn't get any complaints from the opposition and we have to wait until the end, until a point of order and the Speaker agrees with the opposition. I've never seen this happen before. Have a watch, tell me what you guys think. So one ticket per hour, uh, Mr Speaker. We are on the side of the travelling uh, public. Uh, by the way, he hasn't mentioned this, but they're on the side of the people traffickers who would risk people's lives at sea, Mr Speaker. Yep, can you believe it? He just said that. Astounding that the opposition is not up in their seats right now and screaming. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to rewind it and play it back a couple of times and, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll zoom in on Pretty Patel's face. It's, it's beyond the pardoning. By the way, he hasn't mentioned this, but they're on the side of the people traffickers who would risk people's lives at sea, Mr Speaker. By the way, he hasn't mentioned this, but they're on the side of the people traffickers who would risk people's lives at sea, Mr Speaker. By the way, he hasn't mentioned this, but they're on the side of the people traffickers who would risk people's lives at sea, Mr Speaker. And we, we are on the side of people who come here safely and legally. Safely and legally, Mr Speaker. With no commensurate increase in general practice. Sorry, 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 sorry. Points of order. Yasmin Qureshi is trying to raise the point of order. You'll know that points of order can only come at the end. That's actually incorrect. Regular viewers to my channel will know the latest levelling up video with um, Lisa Landy. That video was witnessed to a point of order that caused real disruption during her speech. In stark terms, that this is a department. Co corrupt point of order, Bob Seeley. This is a very serious allegation. Corruption has been alleged. And you can see the Labour MP Yasmin Qureshi trying to um, raise the point of order because they, you know, that's clearly defamatory and, you know, it's not only one person he's attacked, it's an entire Labour Party. And of course Boris does as usual. As soon as PMQs is finished, he's off like a greyhound. Notice a change of speaker here. Uh, point of order, Yasmin Qureshi. Yes, Madam Deputy Speaker. In the Prime Minister's questions, the Prime Minister said that the leader of the opposition was a supporter of people traffickers. I think that should be taken out of here, 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 here. It's yeah. disgrace. Well, I thank the Honourable Lady for her point of order. Um, frankly, the... Um, level of noise during PMQs meant it was not possible for the chair to hear everything. But I understand that the Prime Minister, as she says, did say that the opposition was on the side of people traffickers. That seems to me, and I have to say to the Speaker, to fall well short of the good temper and moderation which characterise our debates. And I say to the Prime Minister and to all members here, we need to refer to each other in this place in more respectful terms. And I'm sure that in that, that spirit will be um, adopted in the statement to come. By the way, he hasn't mentioned this, but they're on the side of the people traffickers who would risk people. It was a deeply irresponsible thing to do. Not only that, but he scurried out like a little rat, not wanting to respond to any questions after it. And legally. Left everyone else to deal with the problems again. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you'd like some more.